Pikeville Fire Department would like to remind everyone of some things to be mindful of during the summer season. One should always prepare for hotter temperatures by staying hydrated and shady during the day, but there's a bit more to it. Pikeville Fire Department Lieutenant Nicholas Fleming tells us more. Overall, stay hydrated on these uh, warm sunny days because obviously, you know, if you're out exerting yourself, you're gonna use a little more fluids. So we wanna make sure we stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, and not, you know, not necessarily the sugary drinks that we may be drinking uh, that we're used to. So um, protect your skin as well. So make sure that you're wearing sunscreen and uh, applying that frequently to make sure we don't get sunburned and things like that as well. Typically, if we're gonna have an open flame, like a uh, campfire or um, like even a grill, uh, we want to make sure that we have a plan in place in case that gets out of hand. So we usually some water or water hose nearby, a way to extinguish it, or even a fire extinguisher. <clears throat> make sure that you um, kind of keep it contained in a pit if uh, you're going to be having a fire in, at your home. Appalachian Wireless Forward Pay. No credit check, no contract, and most features are postpaid. Right now, take advantage of $75 off select Forward Pay devices and ask about our awesome plans. Forward Pay, because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. It's also important to know the signs of heat stroke and heat exhaustion. If someone is experiencing either, they should seek immediate medical attention. So if you see someone that's experiencing a heat-related emergency like heat exhaustion or heat stroke, you want to go ahead and call for emergency services. So call 911, uh, approach the individual, and try to get them to a cooler environment. So some things that we're going to look for with heat exhaustion is the patient's going to be um, kind of weak, possibly a little disoriented. Um, they'll be sweating profusely. Their clothes may be wet and they'll be dehydrated obviously from sweating. Um, so we wanna get them to a cooler environment. If they're more of a heat uh, exhaustion phase, their body won't produce sweat anymore. They'll be a little more disoriented, a little more weak. They may not be able to stand or respond to you. So that's when we definitely have an emergency on our hands. And again, either one of those cases, you'll probably wanna go ahead and call 911 and get us en route to assist you. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.